It's like uh, you fall in love with your wife when you first meet her. It's just just a date. It's a night out. It's a dance. And then, you know, maybe several months later, you say, well, this is the girl for me. Well, that's the way I feel. Montauk is my girl. You know? Joe and I had an understanding. If he goes out early and gets a rock, you know, and I don't have to go out there right away. We had to rock. We had to rock for the rest of the night, day and night. I think almost all the regulars of mine talk uh, in the 60s and, and, and 50s, 60s and 70s had their secrets. Uh, my talk, you wouldn't talk. Um, I mean, if someone would say, you know, where'd you get the fish, you know? Oh, I got them at Culloden Point, or I got them at, Sh at Caswell's or Shagwan, you know? And matter, maybe you got them on North Bar or the Stepping Stones. You, you never told anyone where you caught them. Never, ever. I don't know if I'd call it sneaky or just being aggressive, that you wanted to get someplace where you knew you had a good chance to catch fish. And if you could be there first and get the right rock in the right place, you knew you had a good shot at a big fish back then. Well, sneaky, if you mean don't tell everybody where the fish is, a lot. I mean, you only had a certain amount of, you had a huge spot place to fish, but you only certain spots were very good or better than others. So if I caught fish at Jones's Reach, I didn't tell you, I told you I caught him at the North Bar, you know. We lied. Spanish Joe. Five Mouth Bob. The Murderer's Row. Whitey Evans. Yeah, Joe the Plumber. The Perv. Local Joe. The Rat Pack. Jerry the Butcher. The Professor. That's Montauk. <laughs>